Hi Soyabees, it's Soya. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three visual interactive games that are similar to a romance club. All these apps are free and you can download them from the App Store or from the Play Store. So all of them are Apple and Android friendly. They are all visual novels as well, just like a romance club. And quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. I have been playing these games for a while now. I'm going to tell you my honest opinion and I'm going to rate all these apps on a scale of 1 to 5 based on visuals, translations and overall story qualities. Before we get into it, don't forget to join my Telegram channel, The Soya Club. This is my RC community. We have now more than 200 members and I'm so, 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 so grateful and so happy. Thank you for joining. Like how cool is that? My soya beans are growing. You can check out my Instagram as well if you are interested in me. <laughs> I post there often. I also have a yes style and flower nose code for you to save some money. The coupon code is soya222 and you can use it if you want to place an order. To get some money off <laughs> don't miss this chance now let's see the games first game that i wanted to mention is another words history i spent all my diamonds i mean energy on my name is hope so <laughs> i don't have that many <laughs> well yeah with that being said i'm currently playing my name is hope now heights and chimera oh and i almost forgot the new story to legend of coral bay my name is Hope is a zombie apocalypse story. Yeah, no one saw that coming. It's unique because it gives us flashbacks of the player's previous lives before the apocalypse. Like what happened before the zombies, their high school life, their family matters, and how they interacted in school and with friends. And this is all so interesting, so I highly recommend this book. It's not just about zombies, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> It's actually entertaining. The plot is actually entertaining. Chimera is about sheep survivors trying to survive on a deserted island. And this island is special. That's all I'm going to say. No spoilers here. The main character is so badass. She's a cop, former cop. <laughs> she's so strong. She's so determined. I love it. I love a strong main character, you know me. I'm already sold with that. <laughs> Overall, it's about attempts to survive, cooperate with other people and try to fight with this deserted island, this weird magical island. Now, Heights is a fantasy story. It's about a girl who suddenly discovered that she has magical powers. I guess, I don't know, she's a witch. She has awakened her magical abilities now and she goes to this academy in another world. She plans to study there, but surprise, surprise, nothing is that easy. Things are not going smoothly and of course we have a bad antagonist here as well. The bad guy, the bad warlock. You know the vibes. We have everything here. Potions, magic, magical animals, kingdom and school drama. By the way, this book is really similar to Harry Potter. I think it was heavily inspired by J.K. Rowling. Only the main character is girl and her abilities are elements so water, fire, earth and air. If you are into magic and fantasy, I highly recommend this book. Don't miss this out, the plot is spot on and the characters are actually nice as well. Legend of Coraline Bay is a mermaid story. So if you were an H2O Just at Water fan, you have to read this. This is so cool. Definitely check it out. I don't think I have to say more. There is a huge variety of love interests there as well. And we love variety. We love that. Pick whoever you want. Overall, another words history gets four points for visuals. Three points for translation, but I have to add that all of the games that I'm going to mention, this story has the best English translations currently. Like, it's the most stable. And four points for story quality. 
Next and second app or game is League of Dreamers. <sighs> I love this app. I love it so, 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 so much. But I have to say that the English translations are very poor and there are a lot of mistakes there as well. So I'm playing in Russian. It's just not accurate at times and it's not... I don't know, they should hire better translators or use Google Translate because even that's better, trust me. It's horrendous. Anyway, apart from that, if you really try, it's playable. These stories are amazing on this app. It's top notch. Oh my god. I'm currently playing Wandering Spirit, which is a Western inspired story with Native American cowboy and Western elements. The Wild West god rush we have everything here and to wrap this up tram travel as well a lot is going on there we're going back and forth trust me it's worth reading this setting was never introduced in a romance club which is so sad because i'm obsessed with the wild west and cowboys and gunfights and everything around that like i just love a good american story <laughs> who doesn't love cowboys come on they were cool you don't want to miss out on a good wild west story, right? I also play, and this is my favorite book on the platform, Law of the Beast. It's just amazing and perfect. And this book is by far my favorite that I have ever read in visual novel books. I'm sorry, RC, but this book is totally my style. Like... Uh, it's a horror, but it has psychological thriller elements in it as well. This is the best thing I have ever read. The atmosphere, the jump scares, the voiceover, the audio effects. It's just like I'm blown away. The whole creepy hotel vibes. Oh my god. Oh my god. If I have to compare it to something, I would say American Horror Story elements are heavy on this one. And interactive player freedom is mind-blowing. I love it. I have nothing but good words about this story. I'm obsessed with it. But disclaimer, this is a dark story, so it can be traumatizing or, you know, scary for some people. It's not for everyone. But it was made for me. <laughs> I'm currently also reading Vampires Novus. And this is, guess what, a vampire story. But you know, it's different. This story takes place in the 19th century in Europe. It's a mythical story, obviously with vampires, and I can't really say much about this book yet because I just started it, but it's off to a good start. It's promising, I like the plot so far. Yeah, I will continue reading it. League of Dreamers also have a lot of variety books. They have a lot of stories on this platform. They have different genres as well, so you can choose and pick whatever you like. Overall, this app gets 5 points for visuals, amazing, 1 point for translation. I'm hoping for improvements on that matter because I feel like this story has a huge potential in the international market. And 5, 5, 5, 5 points for story quality. Last and not least, 7 heart stories. I'm currently reading two books on this platform and I recommend them both. One of them is A Bride for a Vampire and the other one is The Deadly Young. However, my personal favorite is, I think you guessed it by now, <laughs> The Deadly Young. And again, it's a horror apocalypse story. <laughs> wow. Zombies. I love zombies. I actually prefer zombies over vampires. Yeah. That's my take. <laughs> the Deadly Biome is such a cool, unique story. It's actually interactive. Like, this is the most interactive story I have played so far. You actually have to fight for survival and you actually have to fight the zombies. You need to act quickly, choose wisely, and actually think about your actions. And you need to be assertive, just like in an apocalypse. <laughs> you actually have to fight for survivor so players freedom is huge in this book it's not your average zombie apocalypse book okay i have never seen this amount of free will in a game before and risk taking like wow 10 out of 10 
so interactive this book is on another level i would say it's very realistic you have to try it and even if you are not into like hardcore horror you can choose difficulty levels so the game will be easier for you but if you are like me you will play on the hardcore mode <laughs> Yeah, I love danger <laughs> and zombies. The next book is Bride for a Vampire. Another vampire story, wow. <laughs> but it's different, okay? <laughs> it's not the same. The story takes place in Romania in the 18th century. We have an arranged marriage as the plot, so it's kind of similar to Caliphate of Samsara. Do you become the Lord's bride or will you rebel and choose another path? That's basically the storyline. Will you able to escape marriage or will you able to fall in love with your fiance? It's your choice, up to you. Overall, for Seven Heart Stories game, I'm going to give hmm, a 3 for visuals, 3 points for translation and 4 points for story quality. Let me know in the comments down below if you have ever tried these apps and also if you have leave me story recommendations i need to try some new stories because waiting for romance club update is not fun <laughs> and also leave a comment if you want me to cover some stories from these apps as well let me know what you are interested in and if you decided to try these books because i recommended them let me know as well. Did you like them? Did you not like them? Let it all out. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching. See you my lovely soya beans in the next one. Bye!